So I was eight years old and my dad had two tickets to a Van Halen concert and he was supposed to go with his friend. His friend called him about 10 minutes before they were supposed to leave and bailed. My dad didn't have enough time to grab anybody else and I was at the house so my dad threw me in the truck and uh, we went to Van Halen. It was like 2004 and it was the first time I'd ever really been introduced to like rock and roll or guitar or anything like that. And, you know, Eddie Van Halen is just like this massive guitar god and he uh, played a guitar solo and I was just blown away and I told my dad, I was like, uh, hey, I, I wouldn't do that. Uh, my grandpa bought me like a $50 uh, like pawn shop guitar, I don't even know where it was from, but it was, it, you know, it wasn't a nice guitar. So I, I started practicing and I started getting, you know, decent at it and my dad told me like, hey, if you, uh, if you get good at this, like I'll I'll buy you a, a, a guitar, like a real one. In high school, I got really into, into sports, particularly wrestling, and um, I started to get good at it. And I was like, gonna stop playing guitar. So uh, my dad took me to a Foo Fighters concert, and uh, Dave Grohl came out of the ground, like whoosh, like rose out of the ground, and he told me, he was like, if there's any kids in the house, go home pick up a guitar and start a band and you know, I'm just like up there like about to cry. I'm like, I'm never going to stop playing guitar. Um, so I went home and I started a band and uh, it's been probably, God, it's probably been like five years worth of playing in bands and practicing in storage units and we practiced in an abandoned brewery for a while. Uh, my first band won, uh, won the 2015 St. Louis Battle of Bands, no big deal. Um, and from there, we just kind of branched out, and you know, one thing after another, and you know, things change. And I had a show booked um, for that band, and the rest of my band was like, "Bro, you gotta cancel that." And I like wasn't ready to give up on that band playing that show. I I really wanted to. Then the day came, and the band was like, "Yeah, no, we're not playing that show." So. <laughs> Uh, I took my guitar and my amp down to Fubar off of Locust and I just pulled like an Eddie Van Halen and I gave like a 20 minute guitar solo and there was another band there that uh, needed it actually, which you never find this, they needed another band. So I, uh, they asked me to come jam with them at the band in Lent Brewery and I jammed with them and you know I joined that band. and. Um, that band had some member changes go on for about a year and then ultimately it became the band I'm in now and after five years of trying to do stuff uh, I've put out an EP it's on all major music platforms I've got a music video that's over 15,000 views and now I'm getting ready to go on tour and play South by Southwest in Austin Texas which is the second biggest festival in North America <laughs> And I'm just like, how did that happen? How did I, how did I get here?